Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Ashok. Today in this video, we will see how you can use Lightning Screen Flow in our custom LWC component. So recently in Winter 23 release, Salesforce launched new out-of-box LWC component and with the help of this component, we can call our Lightning Screen Flow in our custom LWC components as well. So let's discuss on a use case that we will cover in this video. So we'll create a LWC component with input controls and we'll call lightning screen flow with input parameters. And also we will listen flow status change event in LWC component. Though this whole requirement can be achieved using flow only, but for the demo purpose, we will create input fields in LWC component and pass the values to screen flow and show that screen flow in custom LWC component. And I have selected this simple use case to just make you understand. Okay. So to complete this requirement, first we need to create a lightning screen flow with input variables. Second, we need a LWC component. So we can call our screen flow in that. And third, we will subscribe flow status change event in our LWC component. So we will be notified when status of flow get changed. Okay. And first step I have already completed and already created a screen flow. So let me show you in my org. So this is my simple screen flow. Here I have created two variables, first name and last name. And this is the name of variable. This is the data type. And please make sure to check this available for input checkbox. Else you won't be able to send data in this variable from LWC. And this is my simple screen. Here I have just used display text and over here I have used those variables and also I have modified footer to hide pause and bake button also I have renamed finish button to done okay so this is my simple flow where I'm just showing the text full name is first name and last name now let me open my vs code and start working on second step to create lwc component now let me create new component flow demo now let's add some input controls and buttons Now I have created two input controls, first name and last name, and I have added a class to add some margin. And here I have added a data attribute. So I can access this in JavaScript to get the value. And this is my button. And this is the click handler of button. So let me implement this click handler in JavaScript file. And let me create some properties to hold the values. And now let me read text box values over here in JavaScript and assign them into these properties. And now I have assigned those input controls values to the properties and let me set show flow to true so we can open our flow on button click. Now let me come back to HTML file and add the flow. So this is the component that we will use to call the screen flow in LWC component. Over here, we need to pass flow API name. So let me type here. And let me copy flow API name. So 
so this is very simple like we can just use this lightning flow component and we just need to pass the flow api name now we want to open flow on this button click so let me add condition so till now we have created input controls we have created a button and also we have created a click handler of that button and in that click handler we are reading the input controls values and assigning into the properties and also we have added this flow tag and now let me update the meta file and deploy it to the org so we can use it on our pages so i have defined is exposed true and targets home page and app page now let me deploy it okay deployment succeed now let me open my home page and click on edit so i can add this component on that so i have added my component here let me click on save let me go back okay now we can see our component here so let me type anything and click on this button okay so now we can see flow here in the lwc component but we are not able to see the first name and last name so for that we need to pass them from lwc component so let me come back to my lwc component and let me create a array over here because we can pass variables as a array so let me declare a array flow variables and let me add the values over here and this will be a object array so let me quickly add So in the name property, we will pass the name of our variable. So let me quickly copy that. Oh, there is a spelling mistake, but no worries. Type is a string. So this is how I have declared an array and I have assigned variables with data type and value. Now let me pass this variable array to flow. Okay, let me redeploy it and check. Now let me check it again. Still our first name and last name are not coming. So let me check variables again how we have defined. This is correct. This is also correct. Uh, this should be a flow. By mistake I have written data. So let me quickly deploy it. Now let me check it again. Okay, now you can see the variables value here. So what we have done, we have called our flow into LWC component and also we have passed parameters. Okay, now as per the use case, we need to subscribe the flow status change event as well. So what we want, we want to hide this flow on clicking of this done button. So for that, we need to subscribe this flow status change event so let me open my VS code. So let me subscribe on a status change event.
okay so i have done with the changes so let me explain to you so i have registered this event over here so whenever the flow status will get changed then this handler method will get called and i have implemented this handler method in our js file and over here i am just checking the status this should be detail i guess so i am getting the status from the detail property and i am checking with the finish only because this event will be called multiple times like whenever flow will started paused finished and when we click on previous button okay like there can be multiple status in flow but we want to execute our code on finish status okay and what i am going to do over here i am just assigning false in show flow property and here i am just making our controls empty so now let me quickly save it and deploy it and now as per the implementation whatever we will type in the first name and last name that should be visible in the flow so let's type okay so we can see here hello world and we want to hide this flow on this button click so let me click on this okay so we are done with our requirement now let me show you again what we have done so we have created a custom lwc component and we have used this lightning flow element over here and we have passed flow api name and we have passed input parameters and also we have subscribed flow status change event over here and in our js file this is how we have defined the variables that we want to pass to the flow and this is the handler method that we have subscribed for the flow status change and over here we are just changing the property value and we are just making controls empty okay so that's it for this video and i'll upload this component on my github and paste link into the description and if required then you can check out from there and if you learned something new then please like this video and subscribe my youtube channel i will see you in the next video thank you